Prime Minister. Yeah. Labor has launched a new attack ad on Gladys Liu, saying she used misleading signs in the colours of the AEC, spread misinformation on WeChat, and was forced, along with the Liberal Party, to hand back $300,000 in donations because the donors were deemed a security risk. Is any part of that ad not true? What? And the Treasurer has made some comments on this today. So we have a Labor Party whose deputy leader has been caught red-handed running his lines past the Chinese government before giving them. And here we have a Labor Party who is attacking Australia rather, and the Australian government rather than calling out what the Chinese government has been doing in interference in our region. And then instead, what do they do? They actually go after Gladys Liu because she's Chinese. She's from Hong Kong, and they're engaged in what I think is a sewer tactic here. And I think Josh Frydenberg has set that out very clearly today. It's a desperate ploy by a Labor Party opposition who has been caught out actually running their own policies and speeches past the Chinese government before they'll even talk to the Australian people. But is that the substance of the ad? The substance of the ad. Have you spoken with your counterpart in Honiara since... Sorry? Have you spoken with your counterpart in Honiara since the deal with Beijing was signed? An analysis from the Lowy Institute found that foreign aid to Solomon specifically dropped by 43% in the decade after 2009. Did that have a role in Honiara turning to Beijing? Absolutely not. And I... I'd caution you in the way that you use those figures, because you know that prior to that, the Ramsey Initiative was in place and Australia's involvement in the Solomon Islands um, was significant at that time because we were providing a police force assist role. And we're also um, uh, doing the cable project. And so, you know, you have, you have ebbs and flows when it comes to your development support program. The correspondence that I've had uh, with Manasseh Sogavare, has always been deeply grateful, deeply grateful from the Prime Minister in Solomon Islands for the extensive economic and law and order support we have provided to Solomon Islands. And in fact, he was very clear in his latest communication with me not that long ago um, that he has no intention of putting a, a naval base there on the Solomon Islands. And so we have always upped our investment across the Pacific. And the most important discussions I have had have been with the other Pacific leaders um, who share Australia's view, and they have been also directly communicating those views to the Solomon Islands government. This is a shared concern, not just Australia. This is Australia with regional um, governments, particularly in places like Fiji and Papua New Guinea, Samoa and so on, and working together with our partners in New Zealand and, of course, the United States. I share the same red line that the United States has when it comes to these issues. And we're very aware of that and uh, actions that could be needed working together with our partners to ensure regional security, not just for Australia, but for the whole region working together to ensure that we don't have any um, negative influences here in our part of the world.